Like if you go on the internet, you'll find people who say that pistols do no damage to bears whatsoever. Oh, a pistol will take a bear down. down. Big pistol will. I mean, even a smaller pistol will. Bears are human. I mean, if you get them in the brain. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> bears are bears. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying that they, they, don't, they, don't, they, don't, they don't defy the law of nature. Could you step away from the mic and, and like maybe even stand up and give us the loud like like if you were if you had to make the most noise as possible to like signal a ship to save your life? I mean I can do it from here. We want me to do it from here. Look back here. Yeah, I want maximum volume from you right now. Let's hear this. <clears throat> Woo! <laughs> what was that? <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, Sound like a <laughs> that that be that southern. <laughs> Oh. Let me tell you this. It, it was it was in a school zone. So, the, but don't give me this school zone bullshit. The school was 500 yards. Don't away give from me that the school road. zone bullshit. <laughs> the fact is, the they didn't the lights up. Fast on the feet. <laughs> Let me, no, no, no. You're all about <laughs> it. I was I was busting my GoPro out the other day, and like I've forgotten. That I used the GoPro for a little PO, POV. Oh, 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 <laughs> and I had Kelly sitting here opening the file for me to get the video off of my walk. No. Oh, what was it? A little POV, a little porn. Yeah, oh. yeah, but yeah, but whose angle oh. and what was happening? <laughs> it, it was doggy style and it was with Brandy. Oh, you're wearing it on your head. Yeah. <laughs> you have it strapped up. Yeah, you get it strapped on his head like fucking. <laughs> I just hope he's gonna strap. Or did you wear a harness? Was it a head gear thing? Yeah, or did you yes, he's got it head? right there. Strap it on your head for us, Wings. Show us. <laughs> so you actually did that. <laughs> <laughs> Picture this, guys. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> oh, oh, Picture this right now. You're his girlfriend, and he comes in the bedroom. He comes in the bedroom, and he's With like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got your, uh, you got your nut. Your dirty police lady outfit on. Because <laughs> it's showtime. Um, there were two, and there was no break in between whatsoever. Mm. So she has a pretty slight pussy. Wait, no, I don't no. know. I, I think it has more to do uh, with Kyle than her. That's that's what I'm gathering. I, I mean, from this. I mean, I, I don't think there's anything that I could fuck for three hours and not come if I if I didn't want to. I mean, you've obviously never had slight pussy. Oh That's my god! Tough. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Okay, I, that, that I will go along with. What is this term I, that I'm missing? Is it slack, slack pussy? Slack yeah. pussy. It's uh, it's what you run into when you are a cow fucker. Ass to mouth is a reason you marry a bitch. Oh shit. Okay. <laughs> if a girl will go ass to mouth, beam it up. If a girl will go ass to mouth, she will do pretty much anything you ask her to the entire relationship. Double you know? beam! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just look at it. Like, I had to get my grandma to poke a hole through my shit when I, when I was in trouble. You know what I'm saying? All right, so I conferred with my girlfriend on this question, and we came to a solution. What the fuck is going on at Wings' house? What? Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Well, I probably you must not be at the fifty percent because I because I like the guy to have a pretty penis too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he said it again. Wings of redemption. There it goes. Hold up. Stop. Start air. There you go. All right. Wings is getting excited. And All right. This, this is like the... All right, guys, the, let's, let's go from Lefty to Kyle. Who would bang Jackie? Wow. For, for oh, my it? God. No, 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 no. Just stop it. Stop it. That's inappropriate conversation. Like what, that. What, we are so... What, do you really think your Lefty are that, are that stupid? <laughs> <laughs> Only Wings would say these things. That's why I've always called bullshit on the JFK thing. That motherfucker hit him with a thirty caliber round. There, w- there wouldn't be no sneezing up blood. It would have flattened his skull out. Dude, what are you talking yeah. about? The back of his head came off. Yeah, man, there is. That looked like Kyle's pumpkin. 
Yeah, his brains are in the are in, are in Jackie's lap. <laughs> I mean, watch that shit pumpkin. slow mo. The whole back of that guy, the whole back of Kennedy's head comes off, and a, and a chunk of brain as big as your fist dangles out. If the back of his head comes off, you got shot in the front. Mm-hmm. That's what I keep saying. <laughs> well, that's no, that's the nature of of the bullets. I mean, it goes in small and comes out big. So yeah, so he had to get shot in the face, and and the way the way they got it stolen is he, he shot him from the book suppository behind him. He said it. He said it. He said it. I knew he'd say it. I was waiting on him. He called it the book suppository. (laughs) I was going to talk about this until he said it. (laughs) I knew he'd say it. I knew it. I knew it. I called that as soon as JFK got brought out. I'm like, I got to get him to say where they took the shot from. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm gonna explain this right here for you, Woody. The hood pass. I never got out of the hood. I'm a cheap motherfucker. Here's the oh, thing. I God. make what we call YouTube. You have money. a designer bottle. I have a cup. I stole. <laughs> Wait, what was that card that you just showed? What is that? It, it, this is my ghetto certification card that proves that I grew up in the hood. What he has is that you can't out hood hex. He wins if, if yeah. you didn't know. But um, <laughs> what he has is a pass to get into the projects where he grew up as a kid. Ah, so what do you get a pass? Like they, they no, turn it into a what, what this is is like the projects I lived in. A lot of kids were getting kidnapped, uh. and um, basically they gave this to all the kids in the in the housing authority, so that if we got lost or kidnapped or something like that, we could hand it to an adult that we trusted, and they could figure out where we lived at and stuff. You ever uh, get kidnapped? I didn't. Did but you ever kind of wish you would? So it'd be kind of like an adventure. No, I don't. <laughs> but, or, like, that, yeah, that, but so here we go, right? Let's throw out the question. Let, let's ignore the would you have snake with an animal and just go straight to if you were to have sex with an animal, which animal would it be? Ugh. I would. I, I feel sick even thinking about. I it. feel sick. Like step up stomach. your game, kitty. I'm down, cow. It'd be a cow. It'd be what? A cow. <laughs> <laughs> Would you would you move? Um, so wrong. (laughs) First of all, I'm I'm not gonna lie. Wings is on a good track here. Okay. So one of the worst feelings I've ever had in my life. I mean, the only other feeling that I could even contemplate with that would be the time I was constipated and the turd went sideways on me. <laughs> like, um, that doesn't even make sense. Let me, let, me tell, let me tell the story. I had a really bad bout of constipation. and This was when I was on my diet in early 2011. I, w- I started doing Slim Fast to replace my lunches. One thing I didn't learn about Slim Fast is it dehydrates you really, really badly. Like You have to drink a lot of water when you're on Slim Fast when you're placing it as meals. And I didn't do that. So I got dehydrated really bad. I'm talking about three or four turds deep. Like, it just hurt to walk. So I, I, I feared pooping for about a week. So what I did is I ended up going to get a saline enema. And um, I had my grandma give me a saline enema. And it softened it up enough to pass, but it only got a little bit. So, like, it softened, like, the first three-fourths of a turd. <laughs> I get on the toilet and the saline enema like stimulates the muscles to actually make it come out. So I do it, it goes, and then that little piece, probably about this big, hits it and turns like that and it spreads my butthole wide open. I fall <laughs> off the toilet and I hit my head onto the wall and I call up my grandma. I'm like, you might have to take me to the hospital. But what we ended up doing is she ended up sticking her finger up my button and mashing the turd up. <laughs> Now, I know how to ask a question, God damn it! Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. <laughs> Look at Woody's face. He's like, that son. was awesome. Your grandmother merged the turd up by putting her finger in your butt? Yes. <laughs> so are you... <laughs> Wings got fingered by gangster grandma. <laughs> like this? 
No, no, I was on the floor. I was on the. F- I my I just hit my head on the wall. Look at this! Look at this! clock. That was great. Wait, wait. it's like it's time. What did he to say? I my, I just hit my head on the floor because I fe- came off the toilet because it it felt like somebody had like stuck their fist up my ass. And like it was just a shooting pain, and like, so, and I was like so on the floor, fetal my position hands and knees. on the floor. Oh no, hands and all right, wait, 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 we get this. <laughs> did she put on a glove? She did have. She, my grandma was a house nurse for the longest time. Okay, so she so had you, gloves. She had you gloves. You were like yeah. this, head down on the floor, like you're in pain, like forehead on the floor. <laughs> yeah, like that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now do the scorpion. <laughs> what do you do the scorpion? <laughs> All right. <laughs> that, that, and that so the most a... painfully emotional experience of your life? Most painful emotional experience. Yeah, we of got my the life. Uh, physical one out of the way when your grandma fingered you that time. So. <laughs> like oh, the God. taste of Red Bull. I Does people like the taste of Bud Light and this shit tastes nasty? I don't understand it. Bud Light's not that bad. Bud Light's nasty as fuck, dude. It's like camel piss. Yeah, God damn it, Lefty, you jerk. <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought that was the tone. I was just. It's not. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Say that again, Wings. I've drunk my own piss. Story time with Wings. Well, it was, I, I'm very into survival shows, and, I, and I've seen them do it. I'm like, I wonder what it tastes like. So, I, so I, I've done it. I had, <laughs> I, I had those little mess of jars. <laughs> and, uh, you know how the medicine, like you get a thing of Robitussin, it goes those little clear caps? You just pop a little in there and drink it, and it tastes just like Bud Light. Well, Wayne did fail to die tonight. How do you feel about that? Now that you know, he still ain't got my grandma, my great grandma beat, so he's he still got to get on her level. Right. You mean she's dead and he's not? No, 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 no. She died like like six or seven times and came back to life. He's only done it once. Is your grandma is some sort really of super messiah? You can come. No, back. she she's she was just very stubborn. Like she she'd flatline and she cut and they resuscitate her. Flatline and then resuscitate her. Was she stubborn or were the doctors really good? I don't think <laughs> stubborn. Yeah, no, that sounds like a case of good <laughs> doctors to me. Like, there's no way you're dying. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, let me tell you, let me tell a story about my great grandma. It's only stubborn if she was defibrillating herself. Yeah. <laughs> My great grandma got her got her guts blown out by a double barrel shotgun because she cheated on her husband, and like she clung to life for like an hour and a half holding her guts in to be airlifted to Charleston because Conway Hospital wasn't big enough back then to deal with that kind of thing. And like she died like twice on the way there, and she still came back to life. <laughs> it's lived another thirty five years. If I came back like three times, I think I just. I mean, like, she ended know, up dying like three or four up. times toward the end of it. We always called her stubborn. She didn't want to go. She didn't want to die. So, is her husband like what happened to the to the dad in this thing? Well, he she didn't jail? press charges. What, what? She didn't press charges against a guy that shot her in the guts with a shotgun. No, she ended up staying with him and didn't even divorce him. <laughs> oh no, she's serious? not that stubborn. She's kind of forgiving. She was. She had eight she, kids with him. So stubborn enough to say "fuck off" to Satan seven times. She, she had eight. She had eight children with this man. Eight children. Yeah. Well, what did, what did she like? Did they, like make furniture? My grandma liked Tom to drink and, and fuck. Like, That's what she liked to do. She liked to drink gosh. and fuck. Um, I don't know how to do this. So. Hey there, guys. It's Painkiller already. Episode one hundred and thirty-four, um, and we've got some bad news. It's uh, it's Saturday morning. And uh, that we usually don't record these in the morning, but we, we just got the news. And so we thought we'd record this now. Um, Wings of Redemption passed away uh, sometime in the night last night. Uh, apparently, he was refinishing his desk in a closed garage and uh, the fumes got the best of him and he lost consciousness. And they're telling us that he just didn't wake up. Uh, he was 27 years old and... Uh, He's been with us every step of the way for the last three years. I, I don't know what to say. It's awful. Just a somber reminder of, of how fleeting life is. It's a... But we thought he would want to, you know, he would want us to do the show, I think. so. I wish I finished his desk earlier. Yep. Could have avoided all this. Thanks, Dick. I'm just saying, man. I'm just didn't saying. Want... He didn't want to bring that weird guy to your house, though, which was which was odd. So I guess you know, I, I mean, guys, I'm not blaming you. There were there were several strangers he wanted to bring to my house. 
Well, why weren't those guys with him in his garage? That's what I want to know. <sighs> God. Four wings. Holy smokes. It, oh, my God. Oh, oh, my God. God. oh, my God. He's back from the dead. It's, it's a, a ghost. Oh, my God. God. Holy shit. No. <laughs> no. No. Is this <laughs> real? No. <laughs> wings, you're Wait, back. Are you Is it right? really him? Look What's at up? that. I can't. I'm looking for a halo. Are you all right? How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. How You're long little... were you unconscious? So it was about 12 30 this morning. Oh my God. That's what we heard. Oh what? my God. That we, we heard you were dead. That's always what you hear. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you're alive. Wait, I'm so happy to see you. I got a challenge. Yeah. I weigh about 100 pounds less than you. Oh, yeah. I think I still have a bigger belly. You, I don't know. Well, how many inches are you weighing? I'm in about 78 inches. I, I wear a 58 in pants. I got you I got you soapy, dude. We should do a belly off. <laughs> well, let's go do a belly off? I, I don't have anything to measure with. We don't have to I, measure. We just have to show. Oh, yeah. All right. Fine. Yeah. Let's do it. There, good there's, there's now going to be a belly off. <laughs> <laughs> There's a belly off on PKA. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god. Oh god. Oh shit. No, oh, man. Oh, oh no, no, no. But be sure to subscribe to Rock on at 1 M1. <laughs> By the way, was there a clear winner? I think Boogie might have had him. Yeah, yeah, Boogie had him. Yeah, I'm yeah. truly an abomination. Yay! <laughs> abomination. How about another challenge? You two, you two challenge each other to a diet and see who can stick to it the longest. <laughs> I'm lost. <laughs> Wings, I saw you doing sit-ups today in I your know, video, dude, which was an awesome video. I, I didn't do, catch I his video that. right away, and Joe Lozon hits my cell phone saying he's excited about you doing sit-ups. Yeah, dude, what I've been having my doing is like, I'm very bad at keeping to a diet. Mm -hmm. I'm one of the worst people in the world, but I love food. Every time mm -hmm. I'm stressed out, every time I have a problem, I go to large pizzas, hamburgers, milkshakes. These are what I love and enjoy. I really love eating. I never want to stop eating. I hear But you. I have to stop eating if I want to see 60. <laughs> the dumbest thing I've, I've ever done and gotten away with was pulling a shotgun on somebody. What? What? Tell us yeah. more. Well, my stepfather, um, the one my mother just divorced just two days ago, um, he, he was an alcoholic. He liked to come home drunk and stuff like that. And we, I was on one of my binges where I was trying to uh, lose weight. And apparently I'd ate too much of the salad we had fixed for dinner. So he, so I'm sitting in my, I'm sitting in uh, my office and he's talking. Well, it was, it was my bedroom at the time. What's this guy's office. name? He's not famous on your channel, is he? No, no. His name's Anthony Watts. Um, but I'm sitting, you know, double wide trailer walls are thin. I'm hearing him sit there bad mouth and me calling me fat and things of that nature. And he's drunk off his ass. And How my mother's at this time. Yeah. 18, 19. Okay. I'm, I'm sitting there feeling bad. Cause I did overeat and stuff like that, but it, it, I'm like, I'm not going to take this shit no more. So I grab, I grab my shotgun and I come out and point it at his ass and he runs away and grabs a pistol and he comes out pointing the pistol at me and we have like a standoff. So I'm like, this is fucking stupid. I throw the shotgun down, but he doesn't put the pistol down. And we end up tussling, going on the floor, and the cops are called. And nobody presses charges. Okay. Damn, Wings, that's that's hardcore. Just you trailer were, things. <laughs> <laughs> you were oh, pointing no. loaded firearms with a you you were pointing loaded a loaded I was firearm ready to kill at a drunk was, man pointing a loaded firearm at you. I have a little trouble here because I've been armed robbed three times and I've been shot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so tell us about getting shot. Well, I'm not gonna I've already, said, already told that story. I'm, I'm going to tell you about my robberies because I didn't get shot during one of the robberies. Are these robberies that happened against you or the people that you robbed? No, they happened against me. <laughs> okay. We'll leave those for another one. I, um, the, uh, m m the one that sticks out the most vivid because the other, two of them were just, you know, give me your money. You know, they push me up against a car, take my money and run away. That kind of deal. The one that was most vivid was one of my first jobs I ever had. I used to work at a movie gallery when I first started school. And um, training night, December 18th. I remember it was December 18th. Um, 
I was about two hours into my shift, and I was doing. I was on the computer because they they had like computer training manuals that you had to go through after you got hired. You know, to kind of brush you up and kind of get you used to the store policies. I was doing that. That's all I had to do that first night. I didn't have to check movies in, clean shelves, or anything like that. I had to do my training manual. Well, about ten o'clock at night, three black guys come in. One has a German Luger. That's the first thing I noticed. <laughs> Damn. He went old school. It's hardcore. <laughs> he went old school. Okay. Uh, he, he was the ringleader. He had like a he had like a red sash over his face and like a green jacket. I thought you were going to rob somebody with a like bows and gun. <laughs> Dude, the, the black SS came to your house. <laughs> no, I... Did the I other guy have an Elmer Fudd musket by no, chance? No. Uh, the, other, the other guys had 38 specials. They had a little stub nose 38, little Saturday night specials. But the lead guy, the one that one that did all the talking in order, and he had a German Luger. It stood out to me because when I seen them, I didn't really believe it was happening because this is the first time I've been robbed. And, um, and uh, the first was usually one stands out anyway. But he comes in. I think he's playing. I seriously do. Who comes and robs you with a fucking German Luger? <laughs> Excuse me, sir. You'll have to come back with a Glock. I thought it was like a water gun or something. Like people, like because they came in like kids, like they were like bouncing, like come on, give me some money, you know. And then, <laughs> you know, I'm not trying to stereotype here, but you ever see like a black gangbanger on TV, like standing in front of an apartment complex? That's how these guys acted. And um, basically, they took us. They took us right into the back room, um, the store we were in. It wasn't very big. It was basically like a big rectangle, and on the on the upper right hand corner, they had like an office section with two bathrooms, a closet, and like a manager's office. Well, the manager's office had the safe in, and um, they basically took me into the bathroom and had me uh had me get down on my knees, and the guy you know basically had his thirty eight. Oh yeah, I like where this is going. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go. I gotta go. <laughs> I gotta stay. Tell me more, Wings. I wasn't so thinking. down on your knees in the bathroom. I wasn't thinking very clearly at all because I, I wasn't afraid of guns. I've been around. It guns was your first time. Life. Yeah. <laughs> so the first thing I do is go right into my pockets. Here, you want the keys? <laughs> <laughs> How big was it? What? <laughs> it's a thirty-eight the gun. special. The gun. What else? It's a little six shooter, thirty-eight special. All right, go ahead, Wings. But uh, I. I'm not th- – normally, you wouldn't want to go into your pockets with a guy with a gun to your head. I didn't know if it was loaded or not. I, I was kind of just, you know, I'm just going to do what they tell me. I, I don't give a fuck about this company's money. You know, <laughs> here, you need me to help you take it out to the car with you, you know. I don't want to strain you back. But <laughs> and if, So the first thing I do is I go in my pocket and I grab the register key because I had a register key to my register, and it had like $400 in it, something like that, you know, assorted bills. Because the company at that time didn't have like a drop money policy. Generally, if you work in like a retail or a restaurant type environment, you have to drop your money after it gets so many things. Like you get a $100 bill, you have to drop it in the safe. Well, movie gallery at that time didn't have that kind of policy. So I figured he'd want that kind of money because it was probably $400 in my register. Mm-hmm. I'd have one them with. They went straight to, they went straight to the safe, which is stupid. <laughs> but, um, I, I, all this is going on. I st- it starts to sink in what's happening, and I'm thinking I actually might die here. And at the time, I had forgotten my pocket knife because I didn't want to bring my pocket knife to me to work because it was one of my first jobs. Yeah, I'm sure your pocket knife would have been fine against two snub nosed thirty eights and a Ruger or Luger. <laughs> well, I, I was getting to the point where I was fearing for my life. Like these guys might actually kill us because I'm hearing in the background, you know, open that safe or I blow your fucking brains out and shit like that. You know that. The main guy, he was ruthless. The other two guys were scared, especially the guy holding me up. The guy holding me up had like a green, like, hutch-type jacket. You know, looked like a Vietnam vet kind of guy, but he was a black guy. And he had a he had a red sash over his face as well. Did he have an epic beard? No. And he's no hutch, baby. No. <laughs> <laughs> so Go ahead, like, please. Because I, I was wanting my knife bad, you know. It was like, I can't, I'm not going to try this bare hand to bare hand. And, mm-hmm. um. Because I have no fighting skills whatsoever. I have no MMA experience. My brother, um, is he right there? My uh-huh. brother cracked my skull with a bat when I was about six. Like he, uh, he was batting, he swung at the ball, and he let the bat go out of his hand and popped me right in the head. That sounds like a normal childhood, though. I, mean, I got a bunch of those. Uh, yeah, I, got I remember, I remember the pain those. vividly, and I don't want to get hit again. 
But did you have to go to the hospital? Yeah, I did. I cracked my fucking skull. What'd they do? They had to take a piece out because of the brain swelling. They took a piece of your skull out? That's pretty serious, bro. <laughs> God damn. Did they replace it with something else? Yeah, they, well, eventually they put it back. They put the piece of skull back. Yeah. So they just hold it? They just, like, hold that piece of skull somewhere for you and tell you to come back in, like, three weeks? No, when you get better, when the brain swelling goes down. How long did that take? How long did that take? I, I was six. Ask my mother. <laughs> Shit, what can I get your mother on? Yeah, but I, I really damaged my head back then. I don't want to re-aggravate it. I boxed with Jeremy, and I was very happy with the outcome. I whipped Jeremy's ass. Get out, yeah, really? Because Jeremy was nice enough not to body shot you. Oh, my God. Jeremy wasn't even close to me. I was tapping him in the forehead over and over. I popped him in the nose and he quit. I told Jeremy what I would do if I was you. I'd get you in the ass corner because you kept backing up towards it. Well, if you would like to put on the headgear. <laughs> Here, Jeremy, here's what you got to do. You got to get behind him and get him in a chokehold. <laughs> and then when the fight starts. <laughs> You'll be in a good position. And this is where you pull out your switchblade. Twice, twice under the third rip, he's done. <laughs> So you get your mag light full of D batteries. <laughs> you just beat on them. I like you're making fun of my fighting tactics. They work. <laughs> you know what the funniest part is? When I first, the first thing I noticed when I looked in Wing's truck is the fucking mag light stuck between the seat and the it's stuck between the seats, <laughs> like in a readied position. Like, is and, and, and I, there? I walked by his door, 1911 on the dresser. <laughs> you were the lead singer in a death metal band yeah it's it, it's not a band people th people have asked me this it wasn't a major band it's not like we went on tour or anything oh, it was I a garage that. band but the, so like what did you play did you play bars uh just... basically we played one bar we played rods and reel rods and rolls uh-huh and we did it like every thursday night when we were in high school Oh, so you, you, one bar i had this impression it was one gig but no you did it for some period of time you did it for we did it for like two months before we broke up, <laughs> and we were basically a cover band. We do like ACDC kind of stuff, and we do it in death metal. We, you know, we did like, you know, like War Machine. You know, what up, you know, you, you've heard you've heard War Machine right from Kiss. <laughs> no, I haven't, but I I know some ACDC songs like um, uh, Thunderstruck. Right, and uh, we did we did back in black from ACDC, and uh, you shook me all night long. <laughs> you did. How would shook me all night long in death metal go? <laughs> uh, so let me think of the lyrics real quick. You shook me all uh, night I'm to start long. From, I'm trying to start from the beginning. All right. The first message you got the motor clean was a big damn woman that I ever seen. She had the sky, the sky. And middle lies knocking me out with how the American died. Got on the cow, golden sir. You know it. Nice. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, shit like that. Now, and now I'll have nightmares. <laughs> <laughs> Did you play an instrument, Wings? No, I didn't. I do play an instrument, but it has nothing to do with a death metal band. It's a banjo, isn't it? No, <laughs> no, it's a violin. I, I was the uh, second chair. Going up through high school in orchestra. Go get your violin. <laughs> oh, please I don't. Do. I don't actually don't own it no more. Oh, oh my god. So wow, this is quite the Maybe. the range though. You go yeah, ahead. I know. I mean, from violin to to, to death to, metal. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, but, but if you never watch my my videos, I have a wide range of music I listen to. You know, I'm yeah, sitting thinking about. Like the hunt. I'm sitting there like? thinking about. You know, you guys were living all this high school stuff, and. I'm sitting here thinking, what did I do in high school, you know, in in that kind of fashion? And the only thing I could think of, which I never really thought of this till now, is I beat up the uh, – I didn't do it in high school, though. I did it in middle school. I beat up the quarterback of the um, – our, our varsity quarterback in high school in seventh grade. And he, he ended up being uh, he ended up being an All-American at Citadel as well, and he hurt his knee. But the ran lost. You beat up the high school quarterback? The captain of the football team? He was the captain of the football team when we made it to high school. But I beat him up while we were in seventh grade. Uh, he went on to do good things. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. It's like you I beat up Lawrence Taylor. Size. We were both in kindergarten at the time. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, I can, I can seriously say if like we met again, I'd beat your ass in a fight. 
And you know, and he's like got these varsity citadel, and he got these trophies, and he got uh, he won a, he won won a trophy in uh, in Conway football for being the best quarterback in the little league. Well, I don't know what the hell they call them down here, whatever the fucking schools are. Yeah, but like, I guess I guess some some girls were saying I was talking bad about him. He comes into health class and pushes me. So what you gonna do about it? Instead of like balling up and like trying to apologize, I picked up the health book and hit him right in the fucking head with it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Wings of rage. Yeah, see, I, I gave him the advice of I would not drive 12 hours for anything unless it was a guaranteed piece of pussy. And even then, money had to be changed hands. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Wings always finds, like, the most delicate, like, sweet way to say things. <laughs> you, you are a lot of things, Wings, and one of them, you are the most uncouth motherfucker I've ever met. <laughs> We'll be talking about, like, the thing with the gay people last week. Like, if they're going to be fucking each other in the butthole, that's fine with me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, there are some I don't people know. that are so addicted to drugs that they will do things that aren't in their nature just because I they're I suck your dick for crack. Yeah, yeah exactly. No, it's no, no, let's I mean, talk about this homeless gay shit. Homeless people don't take baths forever. Just imagine that, like, taking off some crusty-ass pants to try to fuck somebody in the balloon knot. I haven't took a bath in six months. Like, no, I actually, I actually feel all. No, no, no. Here's the thing, though. I go through life so I don't have to think about shit like that. Like I wake up and say, okay, I don't want to think about disgusting gay shit like that because that's horrible. <laughs> that's and disgusting. you just added time. That's disgusting, bro. Like, come on. It's you, it's, you it's ruined my delicate sensibilities. Not what the fuck, wings. Dude, that's a prowess by his mini golf score. So, um, it to me seemed like a cool idea for. You know, getting to know someone and building the vibe. Well, with all this in effect, we're talking about the pink elephant here. Jerk off before you go on the date. Oh God, wings! Like, come on. Why do this is this is key advice because you want her to learn you as your personality. You don't want to go through the first two or three dates with like a semi hard on, and your oh, mind's like in a one track vibe. How old are you that you that you can't have a conversation with a woman? <laughs> I, <all right. laughs> wings it's are you okay easier, right now? It's easier. <laughs> if you if you're not turned on. Hey, honey, welcome to the podcast. Yes. Uh, by the way, I went to uh, an all all girl Catholic high school. Thanks, Wings. Um, I didn't know any of these things. I would rather have the uh, the girth than the length. For all you little kids out there, some of your sexual experiences, she might not even see your dick. Just letting you know. <laughs> I mean, you get horny, you pull her pants down, you are hitting it from the back, you done, you roll over, you go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> You're quite the charmer. <laughs> Wings has got moves. <laughs> Every sure know how to wind it down and leave. How long did you build up afterwards? I don't know about you guys, but I actually do watch C-SPAN and, and some of these senator talks. Mm -hmm. And Anthony Weiner is usually one of the better guys that doesn't bullshit around. He's he, he's basically an Al Franken. And, no, he should not resign because he wants to get his dick hard, dude. Everybody wants to get their dick hard. People cheat on their wife. It's a normal thing. <laughs> Your girlfriend is right next to you. It, <laughs> yeah, it's, the, fact, the fact is, is she nodding it's not in like agreement? it's something that's like, abnormal. Oh, yeah, cheating like, normal. Not... Another thing that girls can get away with, like, pretty much we all agree that girls' breasts are basically their penises for, like, for... Wait a minute, like, wait a minute. I'm not I'm sure gonna, we I'm have gonna universal have to not agreement. get behind that statement yet. <laughs> I'm talking about, like, no, let's not sign my name off on that document yet. Yeah, 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 wait. I'm going to need to read this contract before we finish that the girls have dual penises coming out of their chest. I've, I've seen a boob or two, and they're not the same. Whatever you'd like. We can call someone and just try to make them angry if you want. I want to get an old man that has, like, blood pressure problems. All right, see, now that's what we don't want, Wings. <laughs> World of Warcraft. I'm just saying, I'm just, I'm just going to put this out there. World of Warcraft's last expansion set tripled the sales of Black Ops. There's so six white boy. Set. I, Wait, you 8. Right? 6 million copies sold and that tripled Black Ops? Well, well, how many Black Ops sell? <laughs> Wait a minute. How many is this triple if you don't know? <laughs> I'm, pretty sure I'm pretty Black Ops sold like 2 million on so <laughs> <laughs> Wings. It's so perfect. It sold eight million copies. It, no, it sold seven million. 
7 million copies, which is triple a number that I'm not familiar with. Yeah, but the <laughs> fact is, this is a full game, a strategy set board game. That many. Factor of Blizzard outsold it. But By it three times. It did. The fucking six expansion sets sold 8.6 million. Black Ops sold 7 million. Whoa, whoa, there were six expan. So you're talking about six expansion packs all added together? No, just one. The last one. So it sold how many? 8.6 million. 8.6 million. Black Ops sold 25 million copies. All right. And just imagine how much the entire game has sold at that point. That right. was an opening day, though. That's what I'm referring Wings, to. Wings, let me give you two numbers. numbers. <laughs> let, me, let me just give you two numbers to help you. There are 11 million subscriptions sold to World of, World of Warcraft, and there were 25 million copies of COD sold. No, you can't. You can't justify that because. Let me make <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. You're giving well, me let number me justification me. lessons. I, no, because <laughs> you just multiply imaginary number numbers. numbers. I, I I thought this through. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut. A, I'm gonna take a skill saw. I'm gonna cut a hole in the garage door, knock the motherfucker out, put his neck into the garage door hole, and then just the fishes will eat the pieces of skin that are popping it through the chain link fence. <laughs> And eventually, the, re- the skeleton will stay out at the bottom until they ha- the only way you can get rid of that is to drag the river. They've only dragged the river if they have a uh, probable cause. And I present to you the return of Wings of Redemption. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, wings, what the fuck, man? <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the body blows for gas and the natural wants to rise to the top of the river. So when the guy is blowing the gas, it's going against the chain link fence, which is eventually going to cut no, it. No, 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 I can hear you. I can hear you. That is just so remarkably specific. I imagine you, like, after you're done with your daily commentary, sitting in your room, like, with a huge notebook and just crumpled pieces all about. And, like, as you write these plans, you're like, oh, no, that won't do. And, like, just summoning more and more demented, ridiculous things. It's good, though. You should do a whole series on these. Is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more I got a question. It's XM25. How do you do this again? Wait a minute, we're leaving a voicemail. You can't just, you know. <laughs> can't just kid. I got a question. XM25, what did T-Bar say to use on it? And they didn't thoroughly explain a lot of the story. It's PG-13, so you have 24 people going in there, and you expect, you know, yeah, I'm going to see a lot of dead kids in this movie. You don't see a lot of dead kids. You see like six on-screen deaths, and they don't explain a lot of the story, and they don't really kind of explain a lot of the things such as the sponsorship <laughs> or how the yeah. – let me interject. I'm going to go ahead and say that I thought that the amount of child death is pretty acceptable. <laughs> like, that's not my biggest thing I mean, about it, though. I really like the movie. I mean, I agree with Wings that there weren't enough dead children in the film. <laughs> yeah. If a woman is wearing a shirt and a lot of cleavage is showing, is it wrong to look? Nope. She's putting it up there for you to look at. Wings? When she asked, she was telling you looking at her pussy. I, I thought you were just being like I thought you were just being symmetrical, like when women that wear really revealing clothes. Like you'll get these women that wear skirts that like fall off at her like hip bones. And and you're like, what are you looking at, your pussy? You know cleavage is when the boobs press together. That yeah. thing in the middle. And they, yeah, they pop right. up, yeah. I look anyway, fuck it. I'm like, damn that's some nice teddies. Teddies, teddies, teddies. <laughs> 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 hey, baby, yeah, let's go it, take our it, shirts off. See, we got bigger titties. <laughs> <laughs> Get on my level, bitch. Like, what do you do about your old friends from before YouTube? Do, do you still play? I deleted them. <laughs> of course, you did. Why well, do you delete them? Did. <laughs> because, well, first off, they didn't acknowledge how, how I was the best player in the group. So, uh, oh my I'm going to have that. <laughs> uh huh. So I, I, had little, I, had, I had to remind them how I carry the game battles team in, in World at War, and I had to remind them how I'm always at the top of the list. And then they got mad What's about the that. Matter with you and this need for acknowledgement. Did your mom not love you enough? Like... <laughs> <laughs> I saw that. It was fucked up. I mean, there's bad apples in every group of people. You don't judge a group of people by the bad apples. That's like somebody say, well, what do you think about people from Delaware? Well, there was that one serial killer. I hate Kyle, them all. Kyle, you just judge me for being the Aryan super race when you, you're going to judge Only me Only if those... you refer to yourself as the Aryan super race. <laughs> hey, but you can't say the Waffen SS were the bad apples, can I? 
all the waffles. Yes, all of these fucking SS were bad apples. They were Nazis. So That's... you can't, you can't, you can't say that it's racist that I wanted to be the Aryan SS. <laughs> I'm talking about the Aryan super racist. It is racist. <laughs> That's like, dude, I just want to be in the Ku Klux Klan. They got cool rope. <laughs> no, you racist fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man! It's a fashion trend. Everybody's doing it. He no, so cool. we get them cool white hats. <laughs> oh stuff. God, you people are wrong. Yes, sick and wrong. I want to say oh. that I I do not think the Ku Klux Klan hats are cool. Like I don't either. Cast here. You I said it. I didn't say it. Wings. It's a, it's a, wings. My friend wants you to talk more about Final Fantasy VII. Something about the ruby weapon. I don't know. She she literally she, her words were that game makes me fucking wet. <laughs> Make him talk about it more. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. The best way to beat the Ruby weapon is actually phasers. You can get phasers from like things in Sector Seven. What they do is they daze it. The programmers of Final Fantasy Seven seem to overlook and made one of the super bosses. What I hear. Oh, they banned me for nothing. I gave nothing. the guy some advice, and they, they they technically didn't like it. And I feel like I deserve at least a warning before so, a ban. Did that banning. advice involve calling him stupid or anything? No, 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 no. It had nothing to wait, do with wait a minute, wait. Sometimes you're honest. I didn't say anything. It is to you, but <laughs> sometimes you come off a little harsh to some people. <laughs> but like, for example, like this this guy. Keep in mind uh, that I'm a donating member to this site. I've been a member of this site for three years. And I had no I had no previous track history record of, of warnings or banishments, banishment issues. All right. This guy goes, well, I bought an F-150 and my job fell through, and I'm having trouble keeping the payments up. I'm currently upside down on the truck. You know, it, you know this, the, he basically he bought a truck and he lost his job like two or three months later. So I go, here's what you do. You lose a key. You go to the Ford dealership, buy another key, and you give that key you lost to your buddy and let your buddy come three or four months later down the road, have him take your truck while you're taking your wife or girlfriend or whatever out to dinner. You come out, and your truck's missing. You call the cops. You file a report. Your buddy drives it two counties over, puts gasoline all over it, sets it on fire. God, that's so damn shady, Wings. Wings, what the hell is wrong with you? What do you mean? It doesn't <laughs> matter. It does matter. matter. <laughs> Arson, insurance fraud. You, you can't. <laughs> so he cool. was in a situation where he needed help out of a truck payment. He was going to, and nobody wanted to give him the answer. I gave him the answer he needed to hear. Yeah, he's going to go to jail. He's not going to go to jail. <laughs> that is not the answer. Not, you how, how, to how you going to go to jail? How you going to go to jail? Arson, insurance fraud. That's if they can prove you. Have- Download it. I've given those codes out. Nice. So it's going to be I just say people are pulling this thing out of dice. It's done three times before. It's worked out every time. Don't worry about it. It's not their first butt rodeo. It's not their first butt rodeo. It certainly isn't. <laughs> it's it, it, not the first rodeo. <laughs> if they're going to do yeah. deals, I would almost work. Okay, I got a question. Yeah, I got wait, this here. Wait, Brian, yes. don't speak over this. What is a butt rodeo? <laughs> yes, well, please. Tell- you're asking me. I don't no, know. No, 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 no. I, I was no, saying, like, is that, is that a saying? I have never heard that. Wings? Uh, I think you're the butt rodeo. I don't even get dignified that answer. I'm half asleep here. <laughs> oh, man. Um. <laughs> hey, you know what I want to talk about? I can't be the only one that's ever pissed on your pants. Oh, I, a shit. Oh, you, you ever, you ever, you know, I, do, I do that all the time. Do you ever piss on your pants in the urinal? I don't do it all the time. I've done it. I don't do it all the time. I'm thinking like one or two isolated incidents in college. But all the time. Is just... Or us talking about this is unacceptable behavior. No, no, no. Let's not even think about that as a possibility. <laughs> They're critiquing cum dodgers. Cum dodging is an unacceptable behavior because. I understand it's okay if you don't want to get your face shot blasted with jizz. Understandable. <laughs> don't give me the uh, the impression that you're willing to have a face blasted full of jizz and then take it away from me right at the at the point of climax. Yeah, don't you don't you fucking do that to Wayne. Wiser you words bastard. were never spoken. <laughs> <laughs> Someone yeah, quote I mean, that on like, Twitter. <laughs> I mean, like, if they're doing the video anyway, you assume they're pretty much down for whatever. Uh, I want to see a picture of Wings of Redemption looking off into the sunset with that, uh, like, with a quote. 
that says, <laughs> I want that, within 10 minutes, tweet it to Woody. Please do. Please do. Show me like that. Oh, every time. Every time. Now, just think, of how, oh, just think time, about when sir. you're fucking a girl on camera, is your mother going to see it? I mean, no. She won't. Like, I'm just not worried. There's no way she will find it. In the deep world of the internet, I could show her a joke from, like, 98, all right, all right, let, and let's she say would this, laugh. Marcus. Like, let's she's say... not well-versed. Let me say this, Marcus. She's not. Let's say uh, me and you are – I'm say I'm a, the executive producer of this porn, and you're, you're plowing this bitch. You're like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and, uh... Wait, I need a refresher. What am I like? <laughs> blah, blah, blah. I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> but um, you're plowing this bitch, and I'm like – you're like, hey, dude. Your life no, it, it, but it, let, me, let me say this. It's the same aspect thing. For example, <laughs> I mean, the the guy wanted the girl. She broke his heart, so he committed suicide. The guy the guy didn't want to be come out of the closet. This guy forced him to come out of the closet, so he committed suicide. It's the, it's the same thing. It's somebody doing something and inadvertently putting you to a depressive state enough for you to kill yourself. There's a huge difference between having some sort of similarity and being the same thing. It's the same thing. I mean, <laughs> I, I was like, huh? So wings <laughs> wings is so clearly 100% wrong on this. I wonder if there's any <laughs> scenario in which he can see that. And I'm coming to the realization that there's not that. Like, no. you're like, <laughs> it, it, it's, it's like an impossibility. You're like, no, you've just exact got to same come thing. What do you just got to come to the realization that bears are people and <laughs> wings can duck. Wings can double, wings can double Dutch like a black. Uh, like I just imagine, like, like, like you know, hit, like, like wings, like, you know, he's a big guy and everything, but all of a sudden, like, his legs start moving like the Flash, and he's just like, see, told you I could do it, told you I could do it, and, just, and his legs just like, like, going, and you're like, a you brother's nickname is Crook. Crook? What is there a backstory? Crook. Yes, there is. <laughs> Was he a thief in the Let's hear more about the backstory. <laughs> do you really want to there hear the backstory? backstory? You don't get to hear it. Of course, we want to hear it. We did hear a pink kill already. We tell is stories. It, is it a is it a tale or a story? What is it? It's a. It, it, I can explain it real easily. My brother okay. is a womanizer. Nice. And is his name Dan? The, Nick, no, so one of the nicknames that, that multiple girls have called him in front of me is Crook. So I ask him, like, why do you call him Crook? And they say he has a bend in his penis. <laughs> like a, oh, my God. Oh, my God. That, that did not take the that out I expected at all. Yeah, I was serious. I thought, I thought it was like he steals your heart because he's so romantic. Oh, and then, no. like, nope, I thought for not sure. He joined Jesus. The, right, sorry, sorry, I thought he joined the army research. like as a way to avoid jail. Like that's where I thought the story was going. Yeah, I don't. What was negative about it? Now he you know, must have just I'm caught a bad comment. I'm sitting in this fucking jacuzzi with Mr. I Try Hard. <laughs> you <laughs> you know how I know you're gay? <laughs> I don't give a fuck. I'm sitting in a jacuzzi here and not. <laughs> um. How about this? You ever you ever walk to a urinal and see another man's cock? And you just think about the protons that you're just seeing and just bounce off another man's cock? No. I don't think okay. other people. Honestly, no. Just yeah. the light reflecting off his penis that allows you to see it. I don't I know. The... Like, you know, if I got to buy a house in the next year, I'm moving there. <laughs> yeah. Now, you live near family, right? I live near family right now, but, you know, a connection like that will get a motherfucker up and leaving. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Move just for internet connection. Leave I your family behind. Be they don't right. matter. They're relevant. You need that host. Mom, I do host. love you, but look, just look at the speed test. Yeah. Yeah. Look at the speed test, yeah. Mom. Look at the jitter on this line. Yeah. You can't Mom, love me enough to replace this. I know you gave you birth see? to me, but my, the, my KD will go up by like 0.25 on yeah. a connection like this. I, I don't understand, Mom. You just have to sit <laughs> down one day and be like, hmm, do I love my family more or one-shot kill burst with an M16 more? Whoa, whoa. You, <laughs> want me to, you want me to stay with the bad connection? That's you being selfish. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I thought you loved me. Yeah. Mr. Mr. Lester. And that was the one well, class. Was his first name, I, Mo? No. First name wasn't Mo. 
but he he was a very fem- feminine guy. And the reason I remember him so vividly is because it's the one class in high school I failed. And the reason I failed it, no, I didn't. I wasn't fucking up. The reason I failed it is because I always write with a pen. Like, that's what I did. I didn't like pencils. I didn't like the way the pencils felt. So I write with a pen. Well, he comes in his class. Well, you didn't really get to pick your teachers. You get put in their class. And he's like, all work must be done in pencil. I'm like, I'm, I only use pens. He's like, you bring me in pen, I'm going to give it a zero. Well, needless to say, I lasted about three weeks in his class. I did everything in pen. And when he called on me, I called him Lester the Molester. That's it. That's <laughs> it. I, I didn't even know him when I called him the Molester already. So I got you there. Why well, your buddy Lester here is just being a dickhead. <laughs> oh, he got it back full full on. Oh I end up slashing God. his tires. Wings is like oh a Wings gosh. is that guy you don't want to. Oh, you, I'm dead serious. Like, I slashed that cocksucker's oh. tires. That's how I got to get away. Obviously, he deserved that. He didn't let you write in pen. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> that yeah. motherfucker fucked my grade point average up. You think I'm going to let him go away with it? Fuck his ass. No, see, why didn't you just use a pencil? Because I can't stand them. It, 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 it was a stupid rule, and stupid rules you got to go against. You got to stand for something, or you'll fall for anything. That's oh right. My so oh my god, we're quoting country music on the yeah, use of a pencil now. <laughs> I mean, if you if you let everything go by something simple like that, when it's stupid as shit, I don't make it. The teacher was wrong. Hey, if I see your ass now, Lester, I will headbutt the Lester, shit out of you. You, Lester, yeah. we coming at you, Lester. <laughs> you fucking got you, Lester. We're going to fuck you up. Well, I can do a video where I bash women, but somebody like Woody couldn't. No. Which is crazy. I don't think, I think it's for the best if none of us make those types of videos. Yeah, I, I understand <laughs> that, but see, I can get away with it more than Woody can, but... Because you have a set perspective on what your channel is and what people see when they yeah, go to your I don't, channel. Like now, I'll tell you what. Are wait, sensitive. If you can make a, if you can actually pull off making a video about bashing women and call it women bashing. <laughs> Come on, I sang a Pimp Daddy Welfare song on PKA and people request it all the damn time. Wow. <laughs> I, I think Wings has seriously considered this. I give up. I think. Well, you never. You, you remember the Pimp Daddy Welfare song, don't you, Kyle? No. I want to hear it. All women are hoes. All women are tricks. All women are good for is sucking our dicks. All women can cook. All women can clean. But you know women ain't shit if you know what I mean. All women are stupid. All women are dumb. And all they're good for is making me come. If I was a woman, I'd kill myself. So suck my dick and here's to your health. <laughs> no! No! All right, all right. no, no I, I did not co sign on this song. No, 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 no. <laughs> this is about all knowledge of your actions. Yeah, that... I, I, I can just see it now. Like, dude, that Wings' song was ridiculous. Unsub Woody. Like, here it comes. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to roll in. I did not co sign on that. I didn't even know. No. How, did you sing that on PKA before? I don't know. I've never I heard have. that. I've never, I have heard, never heard that. Song. that. That's a Pimp Daddy Welfare song. I think, well, I don't know what that means. I've, I've never, never heard that. Never heard that. <laughs> hate is going to hate. We're going to talk about the Chief <laughs> Keefe's topic. Which topic? The Chief Keefe. What is Chief Keef? I, I had to Google. It. Oh, it's a, a it's musician, a right? Yeah. <laughs> what am I? Uh, missing? Are you starting another crusade, Wings? It's not a crusade. It's just like <laughs> th- this motherfucker is illiterate. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a crusade. Yeah. But when I say he guy. sucks, it's not a matter of opinion. He really sucks. I mean, like just, just go listen to any of his music. I've heard no. some bad rappers. I I can't imagine like. Anything yeah. worse than what I've heard. The, I mean, I wouldn't go that far. I'd say yeah. that um, I'd say that the game itself has degraded the sound to the point it's almost useless. That's I agree. Like, the rocket in there to spice it up. Like the rocket. I I consider no. myself so good at sound whoring. I can out sound whore a nine year old. I guarantee it. That is, you're <laughs> the one that's screaming down the microphone. You wow. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so good at yeah. sound horror. I'm better than nine year old. We're dealing with a badass over here. Like, a nine year old having a headset <laughs> does not affect me at all. Wings, what's your superpower? What would you pick? Telekinesis. Ooh. So that is the ability to move things with your mind, right? Mm hmm. I'm not talking about that pussy like pencil telekinesis. I'm talking about the pick the starship up with your fucking mind telekinesis. What could you use that for? Jedi telekinesis. Well, he would bring his yeah. lightsaber closer to him when he was across the room. 
You no, know, I mean, just imagine that. You know, have you ever seen Carrie? Carry the senator from drink. Massachusetts. He, I think we should drink just based on that because he, he his superpower is based on hurting people. That's yeah. that's what he's <laughs> drink. I mean, was, well, let's drink. But I'm just going to talk to you like with telekinesis. You can you can change people's heart rhythms. You can oh pick God. them up. You can pick their car up and throw it. <laughs> I, I wouldn't even can. think about that. Changing heart rhythms. Oh. Yeah, you can like here like in the movie Carrie, the girl that's always picking on her. She just grabs her and squeezes her hand in a heart bus yeah. because she's using her mind to put, to put extra pressure on it. <laughs> I've got this WTF moment, man. That is ridiculous. That is kind of off-putting, actually. Pouring yeah. another drink. Oh, oh, man. But, like, uh-huh. are the Korean guys, are, like, Korean men known for, like, their ability athleticisms? Sure. I mean, when I think of a Korean guy, I think of somebody that, you know, is pretty good with computers, you know, he's pretty good at rocket formula, you know, maybe good in the rice field. I just don't picture him good at soccer. (laughs) Good in the rice field? (laughs) I don't think you want to be messing with soccer teams, man. Just let that guy, leave that guy alone, man. Yeah, leave him alone. (laughs) A man wrecking crew. (laughs) I I, I can can take soccer teams buzzed on Dome. Oh, no. Let me tell you what Wings does on Dome. Let me just clear this up since he's going to make that statement. Wings Wings head glitches, and when you try to flank him, he runs away and gets behind another head glitch. And he repeats the process for 30 kills. (laughs) I I, I have never physically lost a 1v1 in World of War. Well, I don't think you've ever physically played a 1v1 since it's a video game but <laughs> yeah, i know honest. have you virtually <laughs> lost a game <laughs> no i don't think it'd be yeah, a dude. lot of work but just it's coming in of work a, though yeah but uh, just i mean just doing a commentary i mean today do you think that's really gonna get people getting into this you know where they want to be like i don't even know if just doing basic commentary anymore you know i don't know if it cuts it you know yeah it, it still cuts it let me, let me help you out so? buddy. give me an example yeah. Me. No. <laughs> Here, wait, let, no. let me jump in for a second. Onslaught. I, I, lately I've been writing, like, I'll, I'll pick a particularly negative comment and, you know, write them, like, two or three paragraphs in, re- in response, and it goes over really well. I just sit there and, like, analyze it. and Like, I told one guy that uh, he was an unpleasant fellow and that I hope he enjoys his, uh, his lonely life of uh, video games and porn going forward. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey, that's my life. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, um, for people who are asking where Wings of Redemption is, he, I don't know. Um, I did clear that, the, that this time would work with him on Friday, yesterday, and um, he's not here right now. So it's not like Wings to just miss Painkiller already. Like he's Wings like, is fire hardening spear. <laughs> Wings is usually really reliable, so I'm going to assume that if he's missed it, it's because it was unavoidable. So, uh, the wings isn't here. Hopefully he comes mid show and joins us and we do our thing. I called him and texted him and, and I haven't been able to get him. I hope he's okay. He was okay yesterday. So yeah, that's that. Well, to ever lit, like just pretty. Yeah. I've been doing this shit for an hour. Hey wings. Welcome man. So wait, where's your question? <laughs> I don't wake up before noon. Come on guys. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> through it. I love it. Oh. Woody, Woody like gave you such a good excuse. He's like, I'm sure that Wings is like has something serious going on. You know, he's preoccupied. Something yeah. happened. I, I, I was mind, like, is he like... sick? Is he hurt? I'm like, Wings isn't one to just blow off yeah. painkiller already. If he's not here, I hope he's okay. And then... He was about to call out search parties for you because he thought you were that dedicated. Hey, you're, you're like, man, I was napping. <laughs> yeah, <no. laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. Y'all so said let me fra- European let me friend. I didn't know y'all meant the, the crack of dawn. <laughs> It's noon. Crack of noon. <laughs> it's lunchtime. I don't know what noon looks like. I gotta <laughs> let you guys know when y'all say European friendly time. I thought y'all meant like three in the afternoon. <laughs> that would I be. I, I haven't worked a blue collar job in almost four years. <laughs> I don't know what the the early morning looks like, dude. This is noon. Again. It's noon, bitch. Noon. <laughs> it's noon. Like <laughs> McDonald's has stopped serving breakfast hours ago. Okay. It's noon. <laughs> So you ever knock anybody out, Chuck? Have I ever? No. You never knocked anybody out? I was out? a lover, not a fighter. I mean, I'm the same way. It's like I was telling, you know, like, 
You want to fight me with some mixed martial arts? I'm about to stab your ass. <laughs> some motherfucker, you just gotta shoot. How much their fucking haircuts cost? Any of that shit. I don't care if they. I don't care if they cheat on. The, they're cheating on their wife right now. With like, men. I don't care if they're cheating on their wife with a with a yeah, like a, a male stripper. Matter of fact, if they're cheating on their wife, I actually trust them more. I don't know where that's coming from, but literally, I would elect a gay like porn star president. This. I let's start oh, the show. 13? Okay, email me the uh. link. <laughs> let's start the show. Let's start the show. Um, are you guys ready? Hold up, I got a pee pee. Only grown man <laughs> left on the planet who says those words. Yeah, I know. And it's not like a one-time thing either. He he doesn't yeah, piss. He goes pee-pee all the a time. Consistent... And it's not even like... There's, like It would be one thing if there were small children around and you wanted to set a good example. Oh, no. You know? No. <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, if there's no I example guess, thing I, at all, he'd be like, I'm hold at... on, motherfucker. I got a pee-pee. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> hang, on, hang on a minute, guys. We got to pull over. Got to make a tank. <laughs> <laughs> like, wait a goddamn minute. You just say you're going to... No. No. <laughs> Yeah, because I was sitting there thinking about everything mankind has achieved and watching, you know, the pinnacle of their achievements. And it's something you don't get to see. I've only seen it twice. They built that thing before the internet. Yeah, they did. Oh, but but I've only seen two rockets launch in my lifetime, and one of them blew up. That's you were watching when the Challenger blew up? Yeah, that was back in, what, 93? 87, right? So. What, 87, was it? I don't know. Let me check. I don't know if you were watching or not, Wings. This may have been a dream you had. I was pretty sure I was in about seventh grade when Challenger blew up because I remember That's it being on TV. <laughs> I remember that shit being on TV in school because we had Let's... TVs. Uh, you probably were watching a documentary. 86, my mistake. Never mind. Yeah, I was dude. watching a documentary because I was bored. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just imagine Wings sitting in the classroom watching this educational film and being like, no! <laughs> think it is happening live. Well, that was the first rocket I've ever seen go off. It we watched like, it live. So here's a guy who, because of spina bifida, has successfully hidden the fact that he needs to wear a diaper. What next? Let me answer. Let me go ahead and field this question for you. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and let the bitches know. Girls love that sentimental bullshit, especially when you have some sort of disease dude, like dude, cancer. Whoa. Right. Whoa. Wait, whoa. Oh, God. I, oh. Girls do not like dudes with diapers, all right? All right, I'm just throwing that out. Look here. Kyle's looking at it that way. But Kyle, Kyle's, Kyle fucks bitches with snakes. Let's go ahead and go to my question again. <laughs> <laughs> no, all right. Clarify. I did not fuck her with a snake. I fucked a girl who had a snake. <laughs> look here. Kyle, what's your experience with cum dodgers? I mean, you're usually going to want to, like, Ask permission to do something like that before it's time, anyway. So he doesn't ask permission. I think if he's he well, you gotta ask permission. It's not expected. <laughs> it's not like like, like, yeah, like no, every no, no. I think you misunderstand what a cum dodger is. A cum dodger is a girl that tells you she can do it, and then she dodges it at the last second. Okay, okay. I was gonna say if, if if you're under the impression that like every sexual experience ends with a facial, <laughs> you're gonna have a bad time. Like, it's not like in the pornos. You don't always just finish on their face and try to get as much in their eye as you can. <laughs> yeah, and it's not good if you try to, especially when they tell you not to. You know, yeah. unless you're kind. You learn the hard way. Oh, <laughs> if, you I can find, if you can find a girl that always wants to end with the face, you might want to keep her and marry her up. That's not even a good way to end, man. No, you just start no, to cheat. You know, that's the worst there. advice you've ever given. <laughs> <laughs> and that is, a, and that is a task. <laughs> 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 you want to marry the girl who always finishes, lets you finish on her face. <laughs> I mean, I know it's probably not on top of the priority list. Put a bazooka tube in your truck with a nice little small lamp. You'll enjoy it. You know what? So one thing I might actually treat myself to is a better iPhone player. Like I, right now I've got this thing that integrates through the cassette deck, and that sucks. Let I me tell you this. I've never had a vehicle without subwoofers. If I don't even ride in a vehicle without subwoofers, I should have You open the door and look around. Like, <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> like, like, which car we, no, it goes like this. Like, which car are we going to take? I'm like, you got subs? No, we're taking mine. <laughs> <laughs> My you old truck subs? has subs. The Tahoe no. has subs. The Ford has subs. The white Ford has subs. 
You got you something have, there? Uh, Burn it. <laughs> Just screw it. I mean, it's that important. Like, I, I, you, you seem to me as a person that enjoys his music while he's in the vehicle. I do, yeah. Why wouldn't you try to upgrade the audio a little bit so it would be more enjoyable? Don't you like something with a little bass to it, like in like a club setting? Sometimes, but like I have to fit kids in the back, and it's a Tacoma. Do I have room for these eight-inch bazookas? Where would uh, they go? A bazooka tube is about the size of your keyboard. That's a problem. Yeah, you got a back seat. That's where the kids go. That's where the kids go. <laughs> you got it under the back seat. That, the kids that... won't fit there. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, I feel I just got schooled. All right, I'm just gonna stop talking. Well, you know, it's fucking Audi. I don't drive the fucking four pieces of shit. Girl is winning in the chat, but there's some car votes too. Yeah. Hey, look look at it this way. My trucks, they <clears throat> love me inside them. I can get them wet with a water hose. <laughs> are you wings? Are you insinuating that you're gonna have sex with this 1974 car of your dreams? No, it's it's a it's a pun of wars, dude. What do you do when you get to a car? You get inside of a car. She always wants me inside of her. Come on, she. Now. Yeah, cars yeah, are girl. girls. Cars are girls. Yeah. Come on, let's I do a new one. It, no. I got. I want right, to make right, one more go. comment towards Woody before we end the, this. The rapist right. did that. All right. <laughs> when I was five, I put a kitten under a bucket and I was playing with it. Oh, you know, like doing peekaboo. Well, I left the bucket. Oh, you monster. I left I, I left the kitten under the bucket. And I you went monster! <laughs> oh my god! And I, and I forgot about the kitten. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, Jesus oh my god! god. <laughs> Holy shit! Wings cooked the cat alive. It's a bucket. It's a, it's, 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 he ended up dying of oxygen. Not that. Not oh no! My god! The, 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 the kid died. Bag. Okay. <laughs> the bucket. Uh, you killed the motherfucking kitty. <laughs> how, how, oh, wings oxygen. Kitten? I'm oh, gonna oh, tell Reddit on you. I don't remember the color. I remember doing it though. So let's everything like, about it because we want to get a real vivid picture so we feel more attached. Do you remember to it. the little thighs when you left it underneath the barrel, you sick fuck? All right, but... <laughs> it's a five-gallon bucket. I remember it was a white five-gallon bucket. Oh my god! Go ahead, kitten killer. What's the rest of the story? The story is I killed a cat. But unless I told you that story, can you ever prove that I killed a cat? <laughs> no, you shouldn't be punished for it. And I, and should, and like, should, should I be punished now because I killed a cat when I was yes. five? Yes. Now that you admitted it, yes, you should. Do you We're want to tell the story about your sister? We can. Speaking I, of terror, yeah. I, mean, mm-hmm. I don't want to tell a story. I don't want to tell it word for word. There's a video out for that. Okay. But, um, but with the highlights, then perhaps. All right. I, I'll give you. I'll give you the quick version. Quick version is this: hurt through the grapevine. Sisters on cocaine. Didn't believe it. So I decided to do some snooping. Came in one light, grabbed the extra set of keys for a car, went in her car, found a, a straw with powder like substance in it. Didn't want to go get it tested out. So instead, I went and got a, a $40 drug test at Walgreens. Popped that on her. She's positive with cocaine. Asked the questions. How do you, how do you pop it on her? Well, Did, she tends to stay going from the house two or three days at a time. Especially on like to, like now like Christmas break, mm-hmm. she isn't in school. So basically, when she showed up, she sits her keys down. You pick the keys up, put them in your pocket, and like, look, we need you to take a drug test. That's how I did it. Hmm. Oh, and you have her keys in your pocket. So then you, right. she what like pees on a stick or something? Well, she had to go piss in a cup, sixty milliliters. Uh huh. And then you take this thing that comes in a pouch and you stick it down inside of it, and has five little settings each setting is for a different drug and if there's a line she's clean if there's no line she's dirty what was she so, dirty for just coke just coke so so the, i think the thing is i'm trying to remember because i had uh, friends with issues back in the day um i think those tests do you know if it's specifically coke because i think the the tests also show the same result if it's crack um crack wasn't done on this test like there wasn't a crack there was a marijuana opiate and a Anaphetamine? Yeah, it would hit the same way for both crack and right. It, was, uh, it could cocaine, be crack. He found a straw with powdered residue. So what did it. she tell you? Did she tell you that she's been? She did well, one I, she time. Didn't tell, she didn't talk to me at that point. Okay. At that point, it abrupted into a fight. Uh. <laughs> as soon as that thing went, that pot tested positive. Mm-hmm. My mother went ape shit on her, and I kind of walked out the room because I didn't want to be a part of that. Does that make sense? I follow. I follow. So. And how many? When was this? 
this was uh, New Year's Day we did the test on. I popped the test on New Year's Day because I didn't want her to go out on New Year's night and her be experimenting with drugs. Hmm. Because right. one, I live at the beach. I live in a town called Myrtle Beach. Well, I live outside of Myrtle Beach, but might as well, I live in the general area of it. So the beach is accessible. But during the like New Year's and like big holidays like that where people party, we have a lot of traffic stops. Like they'll just check for drunks, they'll check for people. And dude, you go through their high on cocaine, you got cocaine sitting in the back seat. She's in jail. I can't help her there. Well, that's a that's an immediate felony charge. Right? But wait, you caught her on the first, right? I caught her on the thirty first. Oh, and that's why you uh -oh. kept her in on the that night. Yes. I wanted to pop it on her that night, so if she is doing it, we could stop her then. How did she? How did she react? Like how? What? What has very been poorly. her reaction? Very, very poorly. Like she reacted in a way that that startled me. Like she reacted, um, like she like it wasn't that big of a deal. Like she she she, act, she basically let me know that she didn't know how big of the deal what she did was. And like I started pointing out to her people that in our lives that drugs have ruined their lives. Like I don't want to give full names, but we have a girl named Candy, which is a I don't know how she's related to me, but she's related. But she was like the homecoming queen for Conway High back when she was in high school and had three cars by the time she was Taylor's age, brand new, you know, had a big new house by the time she graduated high school. Um, and then she got hooked on opiates, which are like pain pills and things like that. And now she's selling herself over there on the boulevard to try to get money to get a pain pill. How much? Yeah, she was a homecoming queen, you say, right? I don't know how much she cost. <laughs> yes, you do. Like Just tell queen. us. <laughs> You're telling me there's a homecoming queen selling herself on the boulevard and you don't know how much? You're well, not. First uh, off, she was homecoming queen like 11 or 12 years ago. All right, that's what we're talking about. That's yeah. only 29 30. That's not that bad. Come on now. Yeah, but, it, but the difference is she doesn't look like a homecoming queen anymore. She's really ragged out. I'll mm. be the judge of that, hater. Yeah, all as superficial as you are, okay? Yeah. I'm, a four, I'm a 400 pound guy, and she's not up to my standard. Wings. You used to be a 911 operator for a very short period of time, like two weeks. What? What happened? Why did Why did you stop after two weeks? YouTube. I, I did not back, back. That was when we were talking about the pay period, where we didn't get paid for like six months. At mm -hmm. that time, when I first started YouTube, I was on unemployment. And because um, I was laid off at the time and unemployment um, was was about to run dry on me. So I got back into the workforce to try and, you know, pay the bills in hopes that you, my YouTube dream would kick off. And it eventually did. And then I quit. OK, so you quit that job. Yes. Did you hate the job? Long hours. It's 24 on 48 off. Holy smoke. Oh, wow. You worked 24 hours in a row. Mm -hmm. You stay awake during that. Coffee. You know, after 18 hours of being awake, your body's at a 0 0.04 BAC. Get out. Or, or well, similar uh, mindset. Huh. That's, the, that's the way they do it around here, 24 on 48 off. I tried to drive from Boston to Atlanta uh, in a straight shot, and I think it was about 19 hours into the drive. <laughs> after being lost for a while that's longer than it normally takes my hands were shaking like like genuinely like it looked like i had parkinson's like seriously shaking uncontrollably from Jeez. i had like five monsters and i was like shit i gotta stop <laughs> <laughs> i mean like i wanted to man up and do the whole thing you get and some that, adrenaline with 911 though like you, you get people that are scared and you're, you're trying to talk them down and you got these like this rap sheets you got to go down and there's certain things you got you can't do like you're not allowed to hang up on them if you hang if they hang up you have to call them back did you ever want like, to swear at somebody that called 911 like shut the fuck up like here's what i got to tell you to do i think the worst one i got was a turkey somebody had ran over their husband's turkey with their car and they called 911 <laughs> <laughs> It was an emergency for the turkey. No, the turkey was dead as shit. I imagine Wings being like, I'll be right there, like tucking a napkin into his collar as he runs out the door. <laughs>
So what did you say to him? What did you have to say? Did you have to? Uh, the, the, you got to give him the standard answer. You got to be professional. Like, it was, it was, it was like, ma'am, um, this is 911. This is for people emergencies. Um, I can look up the number for the local veterinarian's office if you'd like, but um, continued use of the service in this manner could be a criminal offense. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty well prepared, to be honest with you. Yeah. yeah. That's what you like if you say, ma'am, this is for humans. Did that bother you <laughs> getting a call like that, or did that like? No, you get them all the. You basically, when you take breaks, you basically go over who had the loony calls. Really, you got lots of calls like that. Yeah, you, people call nine one one for like busting the water. But like, we had this one woman that, when when I worked there, she had like hot water, and she turned it on, and the water thing broke, and hot water started shooting up out of her spigot, and she like called nine one one in a panic. <laughs> Wow, I never, I never thought of it that way. That people use nine one one as just a cure all for, like, oh, this happened in my life. I'm panicking. Yeah, Call I've seen that in my life. Like, I, I hate to make this generalization, but it's usually hysterical women that I've seen will do this. Like, ah, nine one one. And I'm like, just don't know. People this are is like, not a nine one one emergency. <laughs> And I think even inside of this minor emergency, we should stop and talk about. Just what a 911 emergency is, you dumbass. Hmm. There, I, I've seen people call 911 over the most ridiculous thing, like snakes in your yard and shit like that. And and I'm out there and I'm like, pick the thing up and got it out of the yard, and, and the cops are there, like, with tactical gear, like they're about to fight a king cobra of some, or something, of course. <laughs> See, we, you, we wouldn't dispatch for a snake. You basically got to tell them to call animal control. It depends. If you're in a small area that has, if you're in an area that has animal control, they send them, but if not, I've heard tales of the cops throwing, you know, um, the 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 cats that, um, you know, they're dead. They euthanize cats into the incinerators, you know, and and crazy shit like that. A lot of the animal control duties end up falling to the cops in small areas. Well, shit, I, well, I wish our cops actually did work for their money. <laughs> Wait a minute! Did you just uh-huh. say that you wish your cops were throwing dead cats in incinerators? Well, so they when you work money? when you work for 911 dispatch, you're actually in uh, a government building. We, our mine was the ML Brown building, and um, you, so you yeah the Horry County State Police was right there. Well, Horry County Police, not state. Does that job have benefits? Uh, it does. It has full full uh, city benefits, like a city job. Um, but. But you're there with them, and and they're the biggest pricks ever. They feel like they're above everybody else. They have this cocky walk about them. I mean, that's that's where the core of my hating cops actually comes from, is actually working around them. Because they look at themselves as a superior person, and they feel like they're superior. And, and like, so, they don't do shit. They I'm don't. sorry that you've had that experience, because I've just really had the opposite experience. I, I've I've been around, like, um, several police officers, and, you know, and, and – um, you know, when they were in plain clothes and also when they were in uniform and, you know, they always treated me straight up no matter what, you know, they, they were friendly with me. They were, you know, just nice guys. And, you know, they talk off the record about how they really thought about things and they didn't really have any opinions about anything that I disagreed with. None of that hardcore macho bullshit that sometimes we think of them, you know, none of that. They're just, you know, a lot of fear right. and a I lot of like say, worry that they have to deal with do, crazy stuff. Conway isn't a good one. I, and I, I know what you're talking about. I, I, I've seen those videos on, on the internet that just make you despise the, the guy who's abusing his power. But I think well, yeah, uh, one of those, I think there's a lot of guys who are just doing the uh, job. We had, uh, we, had, we had one cop. God, he was at Horry County. <laughs> and he was like on like national TV because he freaked out on like an old black woman. And she drug her out the car window and pointed a gun at her. She was like, it's 70 at least. Yeah, I see that <laughs> stuff, and I just can't believe it. I can't fathom how that happened. How, how not, not just someone in a uniform who has responsibilities and has taken an oath and has you know, all this you know, sensitivity training in this day, day and age, I'm sure. And yet that's the guy who snapped and dragged a granny out of a, out of a car. You know, that's the guy that, that shoots some lady three times with a taser when she was – you know, refusing to show ID or something. Did you, you see know. that? Did you see the guy in Toronto who actually went to jail? I'm I, I'm not familiar with what you're talking about. There was a shooting in Toronto on on a tram, and um, the guy was holding a knife on the tram, and it, the whole night he, there was nobody else on the tram with him, and there was something like 21 cops around him, and a cop shot him nine times. He shot him three when he was standing, and he shot him six times when he was down, and then they tased him. Oh man, I I, I gotta wow. say, I saw a video the other day of this jackass going ape shit in a subway somewhere and he was he was he was completely naked you know grown man like 38 35 40 years old 
and he's, he's literally chasing people in the subway, like swinging at him, not in, in like a crazy, confused manner. Like he's fucked up. And I'm thinking to myself, like somebody, you know, if somebody had a gun and they shot this guy, I feel like he'd be justified. This guy is like literally chasing people around like a fucking zombie. So I don't know what that guy did in, did in Toronto, but it just it, it it's odd that these people get shot and and there's no video for me to see what led up to well, it. You can see the video. That's why he got put arrested. Like he, the guy had no intention of going near them. He was like, okay, probably, well, if he just executed somebody, I'm not defending that. Yeah, he's probably 15 <laughs> feet away with like three cameras on him because we were standing around with cell phones. <laughs> I just always like to give the cops the benefit of the doubt. I got all these badass stories. I mean, the last fight I was in, I spray painted the guy in the eyes. <laughs> oh, man. Ouch. Ouch. That's almost as bad as fucking yeah, The reason I was doing this because I was losing the fight. <laughs> <laughs> so you just had a can of spray paint handy? No, it, 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 basically we got in an altercation, like an argument over a video game. It was really young. I was like 14 at the time, and he was uh, 17, I think. And he was a lot he was a lot bigger than me at that time. And uh so uh so he I, I, I think he beat me at a game. I forgot which game it was, and I was upset about it because I have always took, you know, losing that video game's pretty hard. Yeah. So uh I push him and he pushes me back and then I we I go outside and we had like this little shed outside. It wasn't much of nothing, like a little rickety old man shed. And it it, it goes he comes back gloating and all, so I so I so I smack him as hard as a fourteen year old guy can smack him in the upper chest, and he pushes me <laughs> into the uh, the shed wall as hard so hard it like knocks my breath I'm like, off, and I like fell down. And when that happened, a can of spray paint fell in my hands from off of the shelf. <laughs> so my first instinct was to hit him with it. <laughs> wow! <laughs> and he was yeah, just crying and shit. And so I was just, I was just laying into him, just like standing up over him. Oh, no mercy, huh? There's no mercy will have these crazy things. He didn't just kick him in the ass. <laughs> in the humiliation um, mode. Well, I knew I couldn't beat the guy physically. Have I told my fall story? I think I have. Your fall story? I don't yeah. know, dude. We're, it's recycle story night. Bring it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm sort of thinking, like, man, falling off a ladder onto a table. Like, who has a worse fall than that? And I'll be like, I do. <laughs> oh, I know this one. <laughs> It, it's involved. It's from work, right? Yeah, it's the work fall. For those of you who know, I I worked on a melt deck before I did YouTube. And what a oh, melt deck it. does? You've never had a real job, grr, yuck, hater. Yeah. And what, a melt, <laughs> what a melt deck does is you basically you you basically keep a hold furnace full of molten metal, and part uh -huh. of that job is cleaning the inlet because when you hold when you open a hold furnace open and you pour the in in with a spout, the melter has a spout on it. Sometimes it splashes and it creates what you call stalactite, which is basically a, a big word for saying metal that's froze. <laughs> so it's basically a big slob of metal. Mm -hmm. So you have to go out there and you have to like take a metal bar and just chip it off and make sure the inlet's clean. So the next person that comes along on the next shift or whatever doesn't break the spout off into the hold furnace and stop the production line. Because so let me interrupt you for a second. And like, I don't mean, look, you were the guy who was the, the male dick operator and I'm just a amateur welder but is it slag or stalactite it's uh it's they call it slag yeah yeah okay go on but but it's same thing okay stalactite is the technical term i'm assuming slag is the yeah what the blue collar guys like yeah we call it slag but it's stalactite whatever um but you open it up on the inlet so that's the reason i'm out there that's why i'm laying this part down here so basically we have this new line come up and we do not have all the safety features down pat on the line. So the engineers come up with this platform that's supposed to be able to allow us to clean the inlet and keep that line running, even though it's not ready to be running. Like they basically had to come up with this platform so they can get the thumbs up to have um, the OSHA guys come by and say, yeah, this line's safe enough to operate. That kind of thing. So they cut corners on it. Well, to put the platform on, you have to have a human take a crane and put the platform on the front of the melder. And this, this, keep in mind, this platform is probably, I don't know, 25 by 15. It's a huge platform, probably weighs six or 7,000 pounds. And it, so a person is operating a crane that puts the platform in place yeah, and then you these, can start walking on it. Yeah, there's like two hooks. I'm trying to do it with my fingers, let you my iPhone. 
there's a hook and you just it seats in the hooks kind of like that right there and okay. it uses this weight to stay on the melter um <clears throat> well to do that you got to take these things called slings they're like straps you put the slings on the on the end of the safety bar the rails or whatever and you place it in place and somebody has to walk onto the platform and take the slings off the hook of the crane that placed it there well I'm the person that got to put the guy had to take the slings off. So mm-hmm. I walk onto the platform. And I take the first set of slings off and I always come back to this because it's important which way I took the slings off because they never told us how to take the slings off just to take the slings off. So I always did it melter side first because I always figured that was the safest. No, no melter away first. So I always figured that was the safest because I looked at it this way. If you know something would happen and these two slings would put me up it would go this way instead of this way. Well, I took two slings up, and then the next thing I hear is ding, ding, ding. For those of you who never worked with a crane, cranes make a bell sound to let people know they're operating. So people know that there might be a ten, you know, a t- you know, a five-ton piece of metal in the air coming at you. Uh huh. Really loud, and I heard that, and I knew exactly right now. Like, he picked the fucking crane up. Well, the <laughs> operator. He hit the up button on the crane, and as soon and it only had two slings on it at this point, and it unseated that platform from the front of that melter. And basically, the platform went like this, boom, just hit the. And basically, I was thrown into the safety rails, and then the the it act the, the impact the weight of it alone dragged the crane down like this. So I was going down with the actual platform because it took a while for the engine to catch up and actually hook and connect it. And then by the time I was doing, I was like hanging on a safety rail like this. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And I was just dangling. And I, I was probably dropped three or two or three stories at that point. And like, it really hurt me hitting those safety rails. Cause safety rails don't play so around. Wait, They're fucking dropped, solid steel. You dropped two or three stories onto a safety rail. Yeah. Oh, because what happens as soon as it unseated, the thing weighed so much, the crane couldn't stop it because the momentum Mm-hmm. It took the crane two or three stories before it could actually hold the platform and stop it. Damn. Oh, okay. So, so you were falling with the the platform for two mm-hmm. or three stories, and then the crane stopped it, and you hit the safety bars. Yes. Okay. And Jesus. Basically, just holding That's on to it. Fun. And I remember. I don't. I don't remember what happened after that because all I remember was just like thinking about holding on because I. So I had like one hand up here on on the on like had like these inline floors. I had gripped that and I had another one wrapped around the safety bar. And I could feel like the safety bar moving because it was the kind that you could pull in and out, like um, in case you needed to move something over something, so you could take actually take the safety rail off. I picture this entire thing happening over a like giant kettle of molten steel, kind of like the end <laughs> well, of Toy it's Story not like Three. That. It's not, <laughs> but it's much worse than that. <laughs> It's much worse than the end of Toy Story 3 because that was a problem. Spoiler alert. <laughs> it, well, <laughs> it's much worse than that for me because, like, if I would have failed, it would have been instant death because nobody had cleaned the pit in a while. And if you don't clean the pit, the pit's the little area between the whole holding furnace and the melter where all, like, the, the spillage goes. And it's basically mm-hmm. just raw, jagged metal. It's like rocks. So it'd be like falling five stories onto, like, a beach rock. And who the hell's making that sound? I'm a choke cow. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us more about the pit. <laughs> Kyle thinks that you're not telling the highlights. He thinks that you're, uh, you know. Well, I'm just saying that that, that was one of the life changing falls. That's that where there's the moment I'm like, I can't do this the rest of my life. And you that's too. Actually, I, that's <laughs> actually when I started branching out and started decided to look for other lines of work. Well, YouTube wasn't my other line of work at the time. But I decided to start expanding my skill sets, now, were you so doing I don't have to be stuck then? in this job. What were you doing the chicken thing back then? Oh yeah. How oh. how how long have you uh, been doing that before you know you stopped? Um, seven years. 